So Evan, throughout our video series of scuba diving and sailing the British Virgin Islands, we've gotten a lot of questions on the logistics behind doing that. I thought we'd answer those questions in this video here. Yeah, diving to BVI is definitely a very fun thing to do and there are multiple ways to do it, so. There are, we've really got three main ways to do it. One, we can go out there and charter a boat, right? We can hook up with a dive shop and we're gonna be talking about some of the different dive shops in this video, but we can always just call up a dive shop, jump on a boat and head out with them, kind of like you normally would, right? Yeah. And this, oh, go ahead. Okay, and the other way of doing that is to actually call them to your boat and you get their tanks and then they take you out to the dive site on their own boat. Yeah, which is a really cool type of diving called rendezvous diving. So if you charter your own boat and you head out there and you're sailing around the British Virgin Islands, you can always hook up with a shop because uh, several of them will have their own boats and they will be willing to meet you at your boat, pick you up there and then take you diving around and then bring you back to your boat, which I think is really the best of both worlds. Not only are you getting to sail around, but you're also getting to dive with an experienced guide and shop that really knows the area. Yeah, and the third thing, you could do what we did and you could charter your own boat and get your tanks and just sail around and dive. Yes, it's a, it's a bit more work because you have to be completely self-sufficient on the sailing end and on the scuba diving end. Plus, you've also got to make sure you get your tanks filled. And uh, that's where some of the logistics really get a little more challenging. Yeah, it definitely is a little challenging because you're on a boat, there's islands that are scattered, some don't have dive shops that can fill tanks, so you definitely have to travel around a little bit more. Yeah, and we're gonna be talking about some of those shops and some of those locations where we can get our tanks filled in a second, but before we do that, let's talk about the different types of diving in the British Virgin Islands. And really there's, there's two, right? We've got some amazing wreck sites, and then we've also got some really cool reefs. So let's focus in on our wrecks first. Yeah, one very famous wreck that is pretty well known is the Willie T. Yes, it was, uh, it was a floating bar and restaurant until Hurricane Irma took it out in 2017. And an organization called Beyond the Reef has sunk the original one uh, as a dive site and they put some pirates on there. And it's, it's just, I don't know, it's a super fun wreck. I, I think I really loved it. I don't know about you. Yeah, I really enjoyed it too. The BVI has a lot of cool and interesting wrecks. They do. Now, there's a new Willie T restaurant and bar which you can visit first before diving on the original Willie T, but it's definitely a site not to be missed. But I think the most famous dive site here in the British Virgin Islands is... The Rhone. The Rhone, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. There's two areas though to it, the bow and the stern section and there's just so much to really explore. You can do it all in one dive or you can do it like we did in two separate dives, but uh, it's a really famous shipwreck. You can check out our video on diving the Rhone and here at the end where we kind of go into detail on that site in particular, but it, it's one not to be missed for sure. Yeah, it's definitely a really cool dive. There's a shallow and a deeper end, so doing it in two dives is more preferred so you can have more time to explore it and the shallow end it's a stern with the cool prop, you can swim through it and everything. It's a really cool experience. Yeah, it's got a lot of fun stuff to it and uh, a very tragic story behind it. So it's, it's, uh, it's an interesting wreck to dive for sure. Uh, then we've also got the Kraken out there, which is another art reef that had a giant wire mesh Kraken on the stern. Some of it's gotten broken up, but also a really cool wreck. So the ship itself, I think, is the Kodiak Queen. Yeah, it's a really cool wreck. You can also swim through that one and even though the Kraken's kind of falling apart at this point, it's, it's really interesting. It's, so. def it's definitely worth it. And then there's several other uh, wrecks. There's Wreck Alley and Cooper Island, and then there's some other art reefs like Shark Plano that we didn't get to do, but where they've turned a plane uh, into a shark. Uh, so I don't know, we're gonna have to save that on the list for next time. But anyway, diving in the British Virgin Islands has definitely got a lot of interesting shipwrecks to explore. Yeah. But they've also got a lot of neat reefs, yeah? Yeah, they really do. They do. So uh, I think some of our favorites are some, some of the easier ones here, like the Indians. Uh, it's a really neat little rock formation that we could you know, just dive around super shallow, but just kind of fun to explore all the little areas in there. Then we've got uh, like Angelfish Reef, and uh, I don't know what else we got. 
We also have Diamond Reef out there, which is a really nice dive site, really pretty as well. Yeah, that's right at Scrub Island. It's really easy and really accessible as well. Uh, there's just so many reefs kind of and dive sites tucked into all these little islands. I think one of our favorite that we didn't do this last trip, but we've done in the past was kind of Great Tobago out past Yoast. Mm -hmm. uh, that was really neat rock formation. I think it's a spot that most people don't really venture out to, but that was pretty cool. Uh, and then there's some diving around Yoast as well and the, on the North Shore, but uh, I think that's more susceptible to, you know, the weather, the currents, the sea states, all those kinds of variables in there. I'm not sure that's one we would, we would do on our own, but one that we would really hook up with a dive shop and go out on their boat. Yeah, sometimes the conditions out here can be pretty unpredictable, so the best bet is to always go with somebody who knows what they're doing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So if you do charter your own boat and you do decide to dive uh, around the British Virgin Islands kind of on your own, mm -hmm. getting tanks filled can be the logistical challenge behind things. So we started off with chartering a boat through Sunsail uh, Charters and there's Sail Caribbean divers right there at the Moorings Marina in Roadtown. And so we hooked up with Sail Caribbean divers. We rented our tanks from them and we rented our weights from them. And they just delivered them straight onto the boat even before we got there so that everything Everything was waiting and ready for us on our charter boat even before we arrived, I think. Yeah, that was super helpful to have our own tanks before we even got there, so we didn't have to worry about that at all. Yeah, it wasn't something we had to run around and get. So we started out with six full dive tanks and they gave us the racks to uh, hold those tanks as well when we started out. So we got two dives in and then we needed to then we needed to fill our tanks somewhere along the way. So we started our charter going out to uh, Virgin Gorda and to Saba Rock. If you're out that way towards Saba Rock and uh, the end of Virgin Gorda there at the Bitter End Yacht Club, there's a couple of options. One is Dive BBI has a shop at Saba Rock where you can get your tanks filled. But then there's also Sun Chaser Scuba at the Bitter End Yacht Club. And those guys were super helpful with us in finding uh, kind of a, an elusive dive site that we we hadn't been to before so they were they were very helpful as well so you can always get some good information as well as some tank fills at the at the shops out there there's a couple of options down there and virgin gorda there's also another dive shop i think another dive bbi location at spanish town in virgin gorda which is also another another option but we didn't we didn't have the opportunity to stop there it just wasn't in our sale plan but we did go fill tanks uh between some dives over at scrub island yeah, filling up our tanks at Scrub Island was super helpful because we didn't have to go very far to get our tanks from somewhere else and it was just really helpful. Yes, and I think that's another dive BVI location at Scrub Island. The challenge with it all is you've got to load the tanks from your boat into the dinghy, run them into shore, right? Unload them at the dock, get them filled up, boom, back in the dinghy, back on board the boat. So it's a little bit of an effort to do this uh, each and every time, but it's, it's certainly well certainly well worth it. Yeah. I think a couple other things that we did was with Sail Caribbean Divers, they've got another couple locations. They've got another location on Tortola, but they've also got an, uh, a location on Cooper Island. And we did spend a couple of nights out there at Cooper Island. So Sail Caribbean Divers made it a little easier for us because we didn't have to wait for our tanks to be filled. Remember what they did? Yeah, they actually had full tanks already there waiting for us, so we didn't have to do the wait time for them refilling our empty tanks. Yeah, so that was really nice. We just called them ahead of time, said, hey, we're dropping off six tanks. They said, no problem. We're going to have six tanks waiting for you that are full on the dock. All you got to do is just swap them out. So we didn't even have to carry them to the shop or anything like that. They just really took care of us and hooked us up by having those tanks that were full waiting for us, ready to go. Yeah, that was super helpful with moving on with our schedule for the day. Yeah, so Sail Caribbean Divers, those guys are pretty awesome for us. Definitely loved uh, their level of service on that one. So sailing and scuba diving around the British Virgin Islands is definitely an exciting and fun event here. I think you can make it whatever you want it to be, which is really the best part about it. What was your favorite part? My favorite part was diving the Rhone and also just Sailing and diving kind of just adds more to the experience of what you're doing and the sailing aspect of it combined with the diving is just a lot more fun. For sure, absolutely. I couldn't agree more. Um, but guys, as always, dive within your training, experience, and comfort limits. You know, there are multiple ways to dive the British Virgin Islands like we talked about. You can do the get on a charter boat, you can charter your own boat and do it yourself, or you can do the rendezvous diving. So there's just so many options out there. If you haven't seen our video on diving the wreck of the Rhone, check that one out here next. But we'll see you next time. Underwater.